Tracy Capone. I'm an illustrator, photographer, and designer, and welcome to my class all about creating beautiful textured florals right on your iPad using Affinity Designer. In this class, you'll learn how to use Designer's powerful vector and raster tools to create beautiful textured flowers and leaves like these. And what you'll learn in this class will provide you the building blocks you'll need to go on to create even more complex illustrations. First, I'll take you on a comprehensive tour through Designer's user interface, show you the difference between each of the workspaces, as well as explain the tools and studios within each one. After that, we'll take a look at the built-in shapes in the rectangle tool, as well as the pen and pencil tools, and I'll show you how to use all of these to create organic looking flower and leaf shapes. Next, I'll show you how to add additional dimension to your flat illustrations by using a combination of vector and raster-based tools to add beautiful texture to your designs. We'll also explore the Asset Studio, where I'll show you how you can easily save complete objects for use in future illustrations or surface patterns. And I'll show you how you can use the Nature Elements Assets Pack that I'm providing as a free download for this class. Now, if you're already familiar with Designer's Interface and want to jump right into creating, feel free to. I've set the class up for everyone from beginner to intermediate, so you can easily skip ahead if you'd like. The project for this class will be to create two sets of flowers and leaves using the tools that you'll learn about in the class, the shapes in the rectangle tool, as well as the pen and pencil tool. You'll complete these flower shapes by adding texture in whatever format you'd like to add it, using texture image files, vector or raster brushes. And finally, you'll create a full textural bouquet illustration using a combination of all the methods that you've learned in the class. For the class, you're going to need a compatible iPad, an Apple Pencil or other stylus, or if you prefer, you can even draw with your finger. I can't wait to see what you create using the methods you learned in this class, so let's get started.